But basically I was driving on the side of the highway, this was a week ago, and I noticed, what the heck? Why are those trees green on that mountain? And those trees are freaking brown. Am I crazy? It looks like early fall. And here's the answer. The gypsy moths took over for about roughly, rough estimate. I was driving for like an hour or so, 50 to 100 miles. They got that whole mountain range going from about the Pennsylvania border, almost down to like Harrisonburg, Virginia. So that's not like an effect because the sun is setting right now. That's green trees. The higher elevation mountain range over there, that ridge on the Virginia, West Virginia border has what's gotten hit by these gypsy moths. And I have a lot to say about it. So these trees have hundreds and hundreds of dead caterpillars underneath them and the leaves are eaten, it makes it look like the trees are dying or dead. Hardly any leaves there, hardly any leaves there. The common theme is, hey, these things are super invasive and they're taking over and I could understand. So from a perspective of, hey, I just have this set amount of property, you're like, shoot, that's not good, it's gonna tear everything up. But from a greater perspective, uh, I started to think a little bit more and I started to read this book called Invasion Biology right here over by David, David, it's by David, long last name. Blah, blah, blah. It starts to talk about a lot of these so-called invasives are actually doing the healing work of nature. Um, and I haven't got into the whole thing, but he would talk about how the Bradford pears are actually only growing in areas that need uh, certain nutrients and it's actually repairing the soil in one way or another. Instead of just going all crazy like, oh my gosh, the moths, da 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 I mean, it looks ugly, not gonna lie. But I thought about it a little deeper and my first thought was, what if this is nature's way of just doing a clean reset on some forest? Because these trees have been here for a while. A lot of it is closed canopy. There's not really a whole lot growing underneath it. In some places there are, other places there's not. And I was like, man, what if these caterpillars are just doing a reset all the trees start to die off then eventually i noticed that the light was reaching the forest floor all of a sudden you're going to have a bunch of bushes and shrubs and biodiversity and smaller trees and the pioneer species will start to come back up in terms of just nature zoomed out from outside of the human perspective and property lines and everything like that it's just a little blip on the radar and i just intuitively think that overall it probably needed to be done for one reason or another if even if it doesn't seem like it right now and they sprayed i don't know if it was the whole 105 miles but they sprayed the zones that were getting hit with these caterpillars the question is do you think the pesticides are worse just to save those trees right now or is that just delaying the inevitable of just nature taking the land back something to think about.